Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Vorce. Abortion and contraception are intertwined. They always have been. Even the opposing side, the child killers, agree with that. In fact, their entire business plan is built around that fact. The evidence is so obvious, it's ridiculous. The more contraception is an acceptable fact of life, the more people will engage in sex. That's the whole point of contraception. Have sex as much as you want without the consequences. But the dirty little secret that the pro-death side doesn't advertise is that there is a built-in failure rate with contraception, which varies depending on which method a couple uses. But the math is inescapable. Let's say the failure rate is 5%, and that is being very conservative. But let's just agree that that's the average. A couple might think twice about having sex without any protection, but will be more inclined to have sex if they think it's safe and they're protected from the consequences. Eventually, the odds catch up with the couple and they conceive a child. Now what? Well, if you think the reasoning here is flawed, then take it up with the U.S. Supreme Court, which said back in 1992, quote, in some critical respects, abortion is of the same character as the decision to use contraception. For two decades of economic and social developments, people have organized intimate relationships and made choices that define their views of themselves and their places in society in reliance on the availability of abortion in the event that contraception should fail. Those words from the 1992 Casey v. Planned Parenthood ruling. The U.S. Supreme Court let abortion stand in part as a means to deal with the problem of failed contraception. Anyone who thinks abortion is unrelated to contraception is too high to even bother talking to. The infamous Roe v. Wade ruling followed on the nearly as infamous, but not as well known or talked about, Griswold v. Connecticut ruling a few years earlier, which struck down anti-contraception laws all around the country. Yeah, believe it or not, there was actually a time in the country where it was illegal for contraception use. Yep, it was contraception being legalized by the courts, that cleared the way for abortion to be legalized by the courts. That shouldn't come as a surprise, and this presents a crisis situation for the pro-life movement. It is a divided house right now on a national level and a state level. For a pro-life group to not oppose contraception is fatal for its cause. Abortion flows from contraception both in practice and mentality, physically and psychologically. The contraception issue, for a number of reasons, is the Achilles heel of the pro-life movement and the difference is highlighted along religious lines. Protestantism as a whole accepts contraception, Catholicism rejects it. This is the reason many of the state right to life organizations, for all the wonderful work they do, will continue to fall short in the big goal of outlawing abortion. And it's why faithful Catholics in the pro-life camp are continually frustrated Contraception and the contraceptive mentality are inherently Protestant positions. For century after century, Catholics rejected contraception as contrary to the divine will. After Martin Luther and his resultant revolution tore millions of souls away from the church divinely established by Almighty God, even these new types of Christians continued to accept the Catholic teaching that contraception is evil. For 400 years they accepted it. Then in 1930, the Church of England, founded on divorce and murder by King Henry VIII, finally caved in and accepted contraception on a limited basis. But it was enough. Within 30 years, almost every major Protestant ecclesial community caved in as well. Only the Catholic Church remained stalwart, protected by the Holy Spirit, and declared what followers of Christ had held from the beginning. Sex is for procreation and union between man and wife, not for pleasure detached from these truths. And that was that. A few years after Pope Paul VI magnificently laid out this truth in his encyclical Humanae Vitae, for which he was vilified by modernist and heretic Catholics, abortion swept over Western civilization and Roe v. Wade became the law of the land in the U.S. This is the reality of what has happened as a result of Martin Luther's rebellion against the truth of the faith. Hundreds and hundreds of millions of children have been executed. Abortion is legal because contraception is legal. 
If you don't believe the Catholic Church, check with the U.S. Supreme Court. God bless you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.